Corey Sawchuk here, GP Car Guy, online, gpcarguy.com. Here's another great video from my friends over at Consumer Reports. Check it out. This is the new Hyundai Veloster. We're gonna take a first look at it right here on our track. Now, a lot of automakers are coming out with small cars for maximum fuel efficiency. Now, some of them are a little bit sporty, but none of them look like this. On first glance, it's a two-door coupe. We've seen these before, but when you start looking at the front of the car, things get a little different. First of all, it's extremely aggressive looking in the front, but when you get to this side, suddenly the car impersonates a four-door. That's because there's two doors in this side, which gives the car pretty much the functionality of a four-door. And there's more. Even though there's a swoopy back here, there's actually a lot of room here in the back for your stuff. But that's not the only surprise we found. Let's take it for a drive. So it looks pretty sporty on the outside. It looks pretty sporty on the inside, too. But what you may not know is that underneath here, it's actually a small economy car. It's only got a 1.6 liter engine. And it's pretty lightweight too. In fact, it weighs about the same as a Mazda Miata. What that means is you can get very good fuel efficiency. In fact, Hyundai's claiming up to 40 miles per gallon on the highway. So if you want to compare this car to a small economy car, it's about the same weight. It's got the same size engine too, but what it doesn't have is the same horsepower. Hyundai's figured out how to get about 138 horsepower out of this 1.6 liter engine. That's a lot, and it's about 30 horsepower more than the competition gets. The Veloster meets that engine to a choice of two six-speed transmissions. A manual six-speed is the base engine, but also have a six-speed automatic that actually works internally like a manual transmission, but shifts automatically. There's a surprising amount of room in the cockpit. I'm pretty comfortable here, and I'm not a short guy. There's a lot of technology built in here, and for such a swoopy-styled car, visibility is actually pretty good, even out of the back. The Veloster isn't quite like anything we've seen before. It's small, it's stylish, it's sporty, but it's also fuel efficient and pretty practical too. We're looking forward to buying one and taking it to a full battery test here at the track. Another great video. This is Corey Sawchuk, the GP Car Guy. Check us out online, gpcarguy.com.